Australia and we're um, agronomy and precision ag consultants um, on the south coast based in Esperance in WA and we do a lot of soil surveying across, uh, across from Western Australia. This is a gamma radiometric machine. Uh, this gives us the ability to collect gamma uranium, thorium and potassium on the go. It helps us differentiate between uh, particularly the lighter soil types in the paddy. Um, EM or Julie M device which we tow behind the ute and in this box here we've got a um, Julie M machine which is putting two electrical currents into the soil simultaneously, one from the surface to a depth of uh, 50 centimetres and the other one from the surface to a depth of a metre and a half. All our uh, are the base station. And the RCP race station gives us the ability to get two centimetre pass to pass accuracy for repeatability. Um, all our data is actually uh, collected on our tough book here, and at any one point in time, we've got georeference data coming through gamma, uranium, potassium, and thorium, and the two depths of uh, EM coming through being that zero to 50 centimetres and zero to a metre and a half. So there's an intense amount of information being collected at any one point in time. Soil corer. So to validate all our um, geophysical projects we um, come back and soil core strategic points across the paddock which are all based on the statistics behind the data. So we navigate back to those points with the GPS and then we put down the core to a depth of a metre and send off those cores to the lab to get them analysed for uh, the soil's physical and chemical characteristics. And that ground once we've uh, got all the data together and it's all been ground truth, the next um, and the, the last step in, um, in putting it all together is coming up with a prescription map where we actually um, implement all of uh, the data in the field. In this particular case here we've got a variable rate gypsum map um, with an embedded uh, trial in the, uh, in the paddock to test various rates over uh, the different variability in soil types.